Now, if during the year, how much is the general reserve movement? General reserve during the year is equal to 70,000 minus 35,000 is equal to 35,000. Right? Now, so this general reserve of 35,000 is for the complete year. So therefore, pre-acquisition, if you see for this six months, how much will that be? This will be 35,000 into 6 by 12 or 17,500 plus during the year 17,500. And the balance 17,500 goes to the revenue reserve. Right? I think I kind of just need to draw a line out here to ensure that I'm not encroaching into the other calculation. So general reserve of 70,000 is split at 35 pre-acquisition. 17,500 during the year, which is pre-acquisition period, and 17,500 is the revenue reserve. Similarly, if you see the profit and loss account, so this 70,000 is gone, I kind of just cover this as well. Okay? Profit and loss account, again 60,000. Well, simple, 60,000, and what was the opening balance during the year? The opening balance was 30,000. So for the PNL also, 1 for 2010, 30,000, 15,000 for 1 for 2010 to 39, 2010, which is the pre acquisition date, and 15,000 goes to the revenue, profit, and loss account. Done? So what I achieved out of this was, I have cleared this also, I have done this, I have done this. Okay. Now there is an adjustment for this particular thing, Abra stock include goods worth rupees 15,000 on which Dabra made a profit of 2,000. Now if Dabra limited has made this profit, then it must be sitting in the revenue profit and loss account. But the logic is that you cannot have intercompany profit transaction. So you will reverse this reversal of stock profit. So you do a minus 2000 here. But as I told you, every credit has an equal and opposite debit. So I will also reduce this 2000 from my stock profit Dabra. Okay, so this adjustment is complete. This will come to 248,000. Are you clear? Let's go back to the adjustment sector. So now even this particular adjustment, I am done. Well, now there's an adjustment which has to be done for the plant and machinery. Bill receivable, I'm already done. So the only adjustment that is now left is for the plant and machinery. Now plant and machinery, let's look at it. The question says that on 1 for 2010, the plant and machinery stood at 3 lakh, right? It was revalued to 3 lakh 30,000 on 1 2010 and on 31 3 2011 what is the value the value in the books is 2 lakh 70 thousand now if you if you were note what happened is that on 1 for 2010 the value was 3 lakh 
end of the year the value is 270000 so what i notice here is that there is a particular depreciation which has been applied in the plant and machinery and how much is that it's 30000 depreciation is equal to 3 lakh which is the opening value less closing value 30000 is equal to 30000 divided by 300 into 100 is equal to 10%. So the depreciation rate that I have is 10%. So now if suppose I have to calculate this value, look the purpose is I got this particular value of plant and machinery on this state. So I need to find out what is the revaluation of this. I mean there is some increase that I have to account for. Why? Because this will be relevant for the purpose of computing my goodwill. I mean definitely I got something as goodwill on a particular date, right? So basically goodwill is what? It's the investment less what I received. So if I received certain profits by way of a increased value of the plant and machinery even that has to be reduced. So if assuming I would have applied 10% depreciation what would have been the value of the plant and machinery on 39 2010? So my 3 lakh is the value if I have to compute the depreciation is equal to 3 lakh into 10% which is the rate I calculated here into 6 by 12 which is 15,000. So 15,000 would have been my depreciation so my value would have been 300,000 minus 15,000 is equal to 2 lakh 85,000. But how much is the revaluation amount? Actually, if nothing was done, my valid plant and machinery was 285 on the date of 39, 2010. But as per the revaluation, the value is 3,31,000. So the revalued value is 330 minus actual value, which is 285. So the revaluation profit that I got on that date was 45,000. This is my revaluation profit on plant and machinery right where do I have my PNL analysis unfortunately I'm not left with some space here so I'm just kind of using this top portion oh, let me see well I do have some space so there is capital profit on revaluation of plant and machinery and how much is that this is 45,000 So I just add 45,000 here. However, please note that because this revaluation itself has not been affected, so there is no depreciation which has been booked on this from 39 2010 till date. So I also need to provide for that depreciation which will be 45,000 is the revaluation depreciation for 6 months into 10 divided by 100 into 6 by 12. This will give me 2250. So my net addition depreciation is this much. Okay. So my net addition to plant and machinery will be 42,750. And this depreciation is what? This is a revenue expenditure. Why? Because this is happening post this acquisition. So from the revenue PNL account, I also reduced double to five zero as the depreciation. Let's do a total of this, all three. I have seventeen thousand five hundred here. If you do a sum total of all this, this will come to ten thousand seven fifty. If you do a sum total of all this, this will come to one forty two five hundred.
So I have achieved what are the profits. So from here, what will I reduce? I will reduce my capital profits. How much is my share in this capital profit? It's basically 60%. So I calculate 60% of 142,500, which is 85,500. And I add it here. The balance 40%, which is 142,500 minus 85,500, which is 57,000. Where will it go? It belongs to the minority capital profit. Similarly, they get their part of revenue reserve and profit and loss account, okay, which is 7,000 and 4,300 respectively. So when you do a sum total of this, minority interest comes to 228,300. So minority interest, 228,300. Well, so let's close these aspects also. This will be 325,500. When you subtract this from 4 lakh, it comes to 74,500. So this is the value of the goodwill. How much is that? 74,500. Now, there is some, sorry, this 74,500. Now there was some addition on account of revaluation of the plant and machinery. Let's go there. It was how much? 42,750. So we add 42,750 here. This is the revaluation net of depreciation. Right? So this will give you 412,500. Okay, let's move to the general reserve. So general reserve is this much plus reserve of Dabra plus PNL of Dabra. How much are that? It is 60% of 17,500 and 60% of 10,750. Right? So when you do the calculation for these numbers, this will come as 6450. Some of this comes as 86,450. For general reserve, 40,000 plus 10,500, 50,500. Well, I think all the adjustments are done, all the calculations are done, so we can go for the total here. This total, if I do on the calculator, it comes to 935,250. Okay. Actually, there's a little bit of a mistake out here. This is 370 plus 42. This has to be 412750. And now the sum of all this also comes to 935250. So that's how basically you do deal with the consolidated financial statements problem. The idea is to keep doing things, keep looking for which thing is going to affect where, and once you do the practice, these will come to you naturally.